Good morning. Today, starting off with clear skies, that means even in the 4.30 half hour here, we're talking about getting to see that sunrise starting up for us this time of year, earlier and earlier, still getting earlier sunrise times. And uh, beautiful clear skies also means that uh, temperatures more, can more easily decrease, and we have watched those numbers plummet overnight last night and this morning. Here's a look at them. We're at 32 degrees. We're at freezing right now in Fargo. 29 in Grand Forks, 23 in Faustin and up in Hallock and Langdon. So a lot of places up north into the 20s. In fact, everybody along Highway 2 and north from there reporting 20 degree temperatures. Even in the Southern Valley, Fergus Falls were down to 28 and Valley Cities at 27. So a frigid start. We're talking frost and uh, freeze conditions happening for anybody who has been uh, working on trying to get those spring plants out. Hopefully you've done what you needed to do last night to protect them. Skies are clear. It's quiet out there. We've got northerly flow going on here today yet again. That's going to keep our temperatures down. We're going to zip through our forecast for today simply because we've got a lot to talk about heading into the holiday weekend. As we head into the noon hour, temperatures will be back around 40. And then into the afternoon, you could see some numbers in the 40s to about 50 degrees. And that's as warm as we go. Our average high for this date is in the upper 60s. So nowhere near that here today. Into tonight, we start to see those clouds take over for your Friday evening. Still though, our Friday does look quiet. It's not until Saturday morning where we start to see that snow we've been talking about creeping in in northeastern North Dakota first. And then as we advance through the day, it continues dropping south and east as this clipper moves through. On the warm side of it, relatively speaking, we'll be getting rain in the southern end of the valley. On the north side, it will, have, it will be all snow. Now as this drops southward, we could see that transition in the south, but we're starting as rain. So this is 10 a.m. tomorrow. Devil's Lake area will be the focus for those snow showers. Temperatures near freezing at that point. And that's where we're more likely to see accumulation on those grassy surfaces. Now, as we head into the noon hour, the snow transitions over into Grand Forks. Fargo's still in the rain. And just keep in mind that this could shift a little bit north and south. But this gives you an idea of what we're looking at here as far as what type of precipitation and wind we'll be getting this. A lot of wind associated with this, too, as this continues to drop to the south and east. The snow with it as well. But notice how by the afternoon, Afternoon, we're looking at temperatures into the upper 30s to some 40s. It's going to be harder for that snow that's falling to stick or accumulate in some of those spots. Still seeing the flakes in a lot of places, but with warmer temperatures, it just may not be as likely. Still, don't be surprised if you see a coating on the roads and it leads to some slick spots. Into Saturday night, this is when it starts to move on and we're looking at quieting weather. So here's a look at our snowfall potential. Keep in mind, it's a warm time of year, so some of this may melt and won't actually lead to accumulation, but there will be some areas where we're dealing with some snow, especially on the grassy areas, and that's most likely in northeastern North Dakota, where it could be an inch, maybe a couple of inches of snow for Saturday. For Mother's Day, back into some sunny skies, but temperatures are going to be so cool. We're looking at 40s for highs this weekend, and we keep things on the cool side into next week. Sounds great. Thank you, Lisa.